Hi, and welcome to another episode of Bassing Oregon. It's uh, me, Gabe. Um, now, I know my channel's been pretty dry for a really long time, and I just want to apologize about that. I've just been really busy. I'm in my last year of high school. I just got done with my football season. I'm doing swimming now, and I just haven't had a whole lot of time to fish. Well, I did in the summer, but uh, I actually didn't have my GoPro because I, I lost it, but I just recently recovered it. So um, I'm, I'm going to start and try filming more with that, some uh, fishing videos. But um, And I'm also saving up for a new camera to help with my uh, filming process. And I just want to let you guys know that, that I know I don't have any subscribers right now, but I'm hoping for... Uh, you guys to or to gain some subscribers um, and maybe become a little bit more serious with this channel um, it's currently January 3rd and I just got a $50 tackle warehouse order and I'm gonna unbox it for you just to show you what I got it's um, all around stuff that I needed and um, yeah Use my keys to open it up. All right. So first I'll just tell you what the uh, price came out to. It came out to uh, how much did it come out to? Fifty six seventy five around there. Oh, it came out to fifty six dollars and two cents. So um, this guy let you know how much I uh, spent on this and like what what you guys would probably spend if you bought the same thing as me. All right, to start this out, here, I'll keep this right here. I got some Zoom Swamp Crawlers and Watermelon Candy, and I got these for a drop shot worm. I needed some more drop shot worms, and I know Zoom makes a really good, uh, makes really good worms, and it's a great price for the um, size. Or not the size, but the amount of baits. And then the unit price was three ninety nine, and you get a twenty five pack, which is pretty awesome. And these are these nice little um, what color are they? Watermelon candy. I love that color. It's really good in like clear water. And I fish this one river called the Willamette, which I'm sure pretty many of you guys are uh, familiar with. Put this on a drop shot hook. Do some damage on the smallmouth. Looks like a really good bait. I use the finesse ones quite a bit on drop shot, and I like how this one doesn't have a flat side. And I'm interested to see how it will produce. They look really good, though. I'm excited to use them. I'm excited about these. Alright, so right here is a Z Man Grub. Now, I love using grubs, and you know what? The smallmouth here just tear them up, so. I uh, decided to invest in some Z-Man grubs. And if you don't know, these things are extremely durable. Just look at how stretchy they are. And it's actually a really good color. I thought it would be a little bit dull of a color. And, it, um, and the action would suffer a little bit due to the elastic that it's made of. But it actually looks like it, these would be really good. Um, I wish they were a little bit bigger, but I'll catch a variety of size of fish on this bait. And the great thing about this is that I can probably catch around 20 fish on one bait before I have to use another one, which is awesome. So, definitely going to be using these throughout the season. I like the package they come in too. Make sure that the tail doesn't get all uh, 
crooked in the package. It's a nice little uh, uh, plastic packaging. Make sure uh, your baits are nice and ready to go. Alright, let's open the hard bait. I got a Husky Jerk by Rapala. It's a suspending rappelin or suspending rattlin fish minnow. What color is this? What color is this? It's Hel Helsinki? Helsinki Shad. I don't really know, but it's a it's got like a blue back, um chartreuse side and it's white. It's just to imitate those shad. It's a really it looks like a really good stained water color, which is the main reason why I got it. And the husky jerk is like one of the best jerk baits you can get for the price on the market, especially for a, a good suspending jerk bait. Um, it's just a great deal. So I love jerk bait fishing, and smallmouth love jerk bait. So I'm gonna be using that. All right, let's open this. Ooh, these are bigger than I expected. They look good though. I got some grass kickers and California craw color. And I'll just pull one of these out. Whew. These are pretty big, but I don't doubt that a smallmouth won't eat this. It looks kind of like a goby. And, um,. I know smallmouth love those. I don't, I don't know exactly if we have any in Oregon. I'm, I've seen something like it, but... Or it could have been a goby, but... I have no clue, but... Look at that. It's that Elastac. I'm just trying to save money and... Uh, get more out of a bait, so I decided to uh, try these. I, I'm really curious as to how the action is, because... As you can see, they're kind of flimsy. But they look like a great bait. I like the color. It'll uh, resemble those yellow perch and maybe like some baby smallmouth, baby bass, and um, some other stuff. They're not scented, but um, they look really nice. It's a four pack, and um, sorry, the four pack, it's a price of $3.99. The Husky Jerk, uh, where is it? The Husky Jerk is $5.69, and the Grubs. Uh, where Z-Man grubs in three and a half inches are three ninety nine. So, I mean, it's pretty. You'd expect to get. It's not a lot of baits for the price, but because of how long they last, it's definitely worth it. And I'm excited to try these out in the upcoming season. I I want to try and go out fishing, but. The Willamette River is just toast right now. It gets muddy and it turns into chocolate milk, fast, cold, and it's just some really hard conditions. So, yeah, and I'll just show you the the other one I got. I got some grass uh, kicker, another thing of grass kickers and smoke, smoky shad, and this is just a really good color for imitating those shad because if you ever fish here in the summer on the Willamette River you will see an unbelievable amount of shad because they just hundreds and hundreds come up the Willamette River to spawn and in the summer they just get to this size and the smallmouth absolutely destroy these. Okay so before my phone decided to get filled up with all its space I was talking about these and these are the grass kickers by Z-Man. Uh, I showed them to you a little bit. They are five inches long. Um, they are in smoky shad. And these cost $3.99. And, um, yes. So, I just have to redo this entire thing. But, but I'm fine with that. You know, playing with fish and tackle, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's just go down the list of the receipt. Alright, next up we have the G Money Swim Bait Heads in Green Pumpkin and in White. I got one in 8th ounce and one in quarter ounce. And here's the Green Pumpkin one. Nice sturdy hook. Um, nice size. 
It's got an interesting, interesting head. Um, I imagine that it'll have a nice little wobbling action. And it, uh, yeah, it looks good. Um, it should do some damage on the Willamette River. Um, and they came in a three pack, and a three pack costs three forty nine. I got six, and they're supposed to match with the uh, swim baits. So I got white for the smoky shad, and um, green pumpkin for the uh, California craw. All right, next up, I got two husky jerks. I got a yellow perch husky jerk, and um, it dives four to eight feet, and it is in yellow perch color. So you can see that. Let me get that glare off. And um, yeah, this is a killer for smallmouth. Um, best, in my opinion, best jerk bait for the money on the market that you can get. Um, it only costs five sixty nine, compared to some jerk baits that are up to fifteen dollars, even more than that. And it comes with great hooks, VMC hooks. So they got rid of those uh, cheaper hooks that they were using before um, that I've had experience with. And um, yellow perch, matches yellow perch. Also can imitate a baby bass, maybe, and a smelt, which is something that the bass really enjoy to uh, really gorge on after the salmon have spawned. Those little, those little baby tiny salmon. I love to eat them. And then I got another one, and the color is, um, what is it? It's, I don't know how to say it. It's Helsinki Shad. Leave a comment if you know how to say it. But, uh, it is, it dives 48 feet, like the other one, suspending jerk bait. I wanted some deeper diving ones, because, um, I have some to cover the top of the water column, and I need it a little bit deeper to get the target, those, uh, deeper fish and um, yeah here's, here's what it looks like it's a uh, blue back with a chartreuse stripe down the middle and the rest of the body is white it's a good stained water color I imagine and um, yeah imagine the small mouth will like it next up I got two Pro Boo Bug 3D finesse jigs. And I took them out of the package. I went to go show you what they look like. And I put a trailer on it, which is a twin tail grub. They're just a little finesse jig, jig. And it'll stand on the bottom like this. And these thing these little claws will be twirling and attracting the bass and they'll just they love these jigs. You ever you you've never seen me fish with one of these, but if you look at AP Bassing, some of his videos in the summer, it's one of his favorite pre presentations that he likes to use, and um, he just crushes the bass on these things. It's insane. Love jig fishing. Great hook set. Um, I know these aren't the best jig. You can get um, uh, you can get way nicer ones than the. Booyah Bates ones, but these are these were just cheaper, and I uh, only had a fifty dollar gift card, so you know it is what it is. I'll 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 uh, upgrade my tackle eventually though, once I start working again in the summer. And then I got another one in green pumpkin, right here. No trailer on it. It's got a nice little uh, weed guard, and both of those cost. Uh, Two forty nine, and they are um, three sixteenth ounce. So there you go. There's that. And I already showed you the grubs, and then I'll show you the twin t the twin um, twin tail grubs that I uh, bought. No, I'll just put it on this to show you the presentation that I'm going for.
It's uh, just a crawl, little crawl presentation. Um, just gonna thread it on like this. Sorry if I'm kind of slow. My arms are dead. I just did a super hard workout. Got to stay healthy. And okay, well, that isn't perfect, but that will do the job for sure. Um, there, it's a little craw presentation. These little appendages will twirl in the water, look like a craw trying to defend itself. It's big, in, you know, eight pound large mouth just comes and smokes it out of nowhere. You know, just state record. No biggie. And um, these were are three inches, and they cost two ninety nine for a ten pack. Salt fuse V and M. There, and their color is pumpkin seed. There's the bag. I showed you. I put it on a jig for you. Uh, that's that. And then I got some drop shot hooks. I don't know if I showed you these already, but I'm pretty sure the video died by then. I got them in size 1, 7, Trocar, Eagle Claw, Made in America. And, uh, they're sharp. Surgically, techno oh, technology surgically sharpened. So, yeah. These are used by a sh If these were surgically sharpened, they're going to catch fish. I can tell you that. I can tell you that much. And uh, those costed three ninety nine for a seven pack. And last but not least, we have the boo yeah or big bite. Excuse me. Stand up, fin, fin twist heads in black. And they are eight ounce. And I'll just show what they look like to you. It's a nice little flat sided. I really like this bait. I um I really like this uh jig head. I'll try and bend down the little uh spring lock just to help get a more flush um presentation. But um I put craws on these mainly. I know I the, they may not be what this exact shaky head may not be meant for that, but hey, it catches fish, so I'll I'll continue using them. I don't mind if I catch fish, even though it's not the right way. But um, nice hook. Uh, hopefully they're not bad. I haven't tested them out. They seem they seem pretty sturdy, but you never know. Um, Put a craw on this, little beaver presentation, drag it over those rocks, small enough of them. And that's the end of my unboxing. I'm going to be getting uh, a few reels in the mail. I'm getting two reels in the mail, sorry, not a few. And uh, I'll unbox those, and then also I'm getting that Mr. Tackle box, so hopefully I can upload another video of that. And uh, just show you guys stuff. I'm not going to be doing too much fishing because the... As I said earlier, the Willamette and just the surrounding fisheries are toast because of the rain and cold. And, you know, just mud, rain, just doesn't all add up. You know, it's just really hard fishing. But you can you can count on some spring fishing from me for sure. I'm also saving up for a new camera to help me with uh, my videos. So hopefully that'll... I'm trying to shorten up this video. Sorry, it's getting really long. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, I'm trying to build this channel up, and uh, have a good day. Thanks, bye.